Boom, just got back from the gym, had a shower, washed my hair, and now I'm ready to film a video. Hey guys, my name is George, and today we're gonna to be talking about the reasons why I think every guy should grow out their hair at least once in their lifetime. So let me start from the beginning. As you guys know, since the beginning of this channel, I've been growing out my hair. It's been quite a freaking long time at this point. But I woke up this morning and I looked in the mirror and I was like, damn, I'm finally starting to actually like it. Like I had big messy hair, morning hair, and uh, I was just like, you know what? I'm quite enjoying that. I'm enjoying the bun and I'm kind of just enjoying my longer hair. And that's the thing, like for the longest time, I was just not enjoying my hair because yeah, it was just awkward stage. I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't really know what I was doing. The stuff I'm used to doing was no longer working. Uh, it was so much harder to deal with. And just to be honest with you, I just didn't think it suited me that well. But finally, I'm starting to enjoy it a little bit. I don't think I'm quite there yet, but I'm starting to enjoy it a little bit. And you know, there's a lot of bad things about having longer hair. And this isn't going to be a video about those bad things. I'll make a different video for that another time. This video is purely going to be about why I think you should grow longer hair as a man. It got me thinking, actually, there's a lot of really interesting things that I got as an experience from growing out my hair. I'm gonna share that with you guys. The number one benefit of growing out your hair is, I mean, who doesn't wanna look like Jesus Christ? No, I'm joking, guys. That is probably the number one thing about growing out your hair that is bad, because everyone just freaking compares you to Jesus every day. Every single day, I'll read like five comments that I look like Jesus. I get it, I've got long hair, I've got a beard. Jesus, right? I feel like any of you guys who have longer hair can relate to the, the Jesus comments. You know, I feel like the number one thing about growing out your hair has to be the fact that it really, and I mean really pushes you out of your comfort zone. Everyone in your life is like, at first looking at you a bit funny, like, and you're really gonna be that guy growing out your hair. You know, people have their very strong opinions about men with longer hair, especially because they see it as quite a feminine thing. Not only that, but you yourself are not comfortable with that longer hair. It's, yet again, it's putting you out of your comfort zone. And it's just one of those things that is, it's a, it's a test. It really is a test. But just like all other tests in life and every time you put yourself outside of your comfort zone, it does help you become a stronger person. It stops you from caring so much about what people think. It starts making you feel confident about yourself. It also dissociates this connection that sometimes people have of security to one single version of yourself and more of you as a whole entity, right? You become more comfortable with you. So that's the first one. It puts you out of your comfort zone and that doesn't sound like a good thing in theory, but it really is. I've already talked about this in my last video, but coming outside of your comfort zone is probably one of the most productive and evolutionary things that you can do to self-improve. It really is. And on that note, trying new things is another great benefit of growing out your hair because throughout the process of growing out your hair, and if you look at it on a bigger scale, I've actually been growing out my hair for about two or three years with cuts in between. But at one point in time, I did have a buzz cut. So on, in that process of growing out your hair, you really get to try every stage of hair. And it just really gets you to experiment, try new things, makes you learn what you like. But also, this sounds a bit cliche, but I just don't want to not have tried it. I don't want to be an old man and not have tried it. I don't want to know that I'm probably going to die and not have seen what I look like with my longer hair. I want to be that cool dad one day that I can show his kids, yo, this was my cool stage. I had some long hair, you know, the rock star stage. I just wanted, I want to have this variety of experiences and trying new hairstyles and just screw it. What's, what's the point of being so stuck with one type of hairstyle? Like I get it. You're comfortable with it. You look good in it. I've had hairstyles, which I, I feel like I looked better in but I just like trying new things and I think it's really good to just experiment. Why not? You guys are so cheeky. You guys are so cheeky. That number down there, the subscriber count, 30K? So my last video, I said 20K, then the video before that, I said 10K. Is this how it's gonna go? Is the next video gonna be 40K? Because at this rate, I don't know what to do anymore, to be honest with you. When is my next celebration? What do you guys even want? What do you guys want me to do for my next celebration? Should I do it at 50K? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm just going to roll with it because I didn't expect this to happen. I'm really, really thankful. But yeah, if you could keep clicking the subscribe button if you haven't already, obviously I'm going to be thankful about that. Leave a like and please leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see. There's a lot more of you now. So tell me what you want to see. I will make a video about it if it's a good idea. So please leave a comment. Follow my Instagram at George F. Leto. 
and let's get back into the video. Another really good benefit of growing out your hair is pretty much just learning about yourself and your hair type. Because when you have shorter hair, you're very, your hair is very limited in what it can do, also what you can do to it. Not only that, but it is so much harder to take care of longer hair. So really you're improving your skills when it comes to just taking care of hair in general, both for styling and for health, because as your hair grows out, it's more important to take care of the hair health. And these are key skills that you can apply even when you have shorter hair. Having longer hair for a period of your life is kind of like a good way of just learning how to deal with your hair in general. If you can deal with your hair at its longest, dealing with your short hair is gonna be like a joke. It's gonna be so easy for you. So you might as well give it a shot for at least a small period of your life because for the rest of your life, you'll find it easy to deal with hair. Because I'll tell you now, it can be difficult to deal with longer hair, which in this case, can be a benefit and to touch on that your hair health i would still wash my hair way too much without even realizing it i would still apply products that weren't so good for my hair and i just didn't care as much now i do because you've been growing this hair out for so long you don't want it to get damaged you still want it to look as good as possible you take real good care of it and that makes you value it as well as a guy you should probably value your hair because it's probably not going to be on your head forever so make the most of it whilst you actually have it. All right, I'm not gonna say anything, but the next point is some girls really like it. One thing about girls is that most of them would gravitate towards guys with short hair, in my opinion. Having said this, if you have longer hair and you take good care of it and you style it well and you just look fresh, you could put 10 guys in a room together and I can guarantee you're probably gonna be the only one who has longer hair, that girl is gonna automatically look at you because you stand out. And if your hair is looking pretty fresh, then uh, she knows that you care about it, right? It's not like you've just grown out your hair because you've been in your man cave playing video games all day and you didn't have time to get a haircut for the last two years. No, you've actually been purposely growing it. The girls know how hard it is to maintain healthy hair and to grow your hair because they have longer hair too, right? So if you can put that message across, without even having to say anything, just by having great longer hair, then I feel like you might have an advantage there and some girls just really like it. It gives you that beachy look sometimes, it gives you that carefree look but also put together look when you want to. This one's a little bit weird but it's kind of true if you think about it. You kind of save money. If you grow out your hair, you save money. I used to get regular haircuts anywhere between every two weeks to once a month, right? That ended up piling up after a year. The amount of shampoo, conditioner I was using, the amount of hair products I was using, just so much more stuff. I actually ended up saving quite a lot of money without even meaning to. So that's another little hidden benefit of growing out your hair. The last thing I can say about growing out your hair is that it just looks cool, all right? Like everyone has their own opinions. I get that, but it just looks cool. Like right now I know I have it in a bun. It kind of works for all occasions. If you want to have some cool beachy waves, you can do that. If you want to have like a classy, like slick back, you can do that. If you want to have it more compact in a bun, if you're going to work out, you can do that. There is some versatility to it. And even though it isn't the most versatile ha hairstyle I could recommend, it still works for every occasion. The combination of the long hair and the beard, I think it goes well. Have you ever seen them Instagram pictures of them bodybuilders with the beard and the long hair? Just It just looks cool, man. It just looks cool. If you do it right, it looks cool. So that is my opinion as to why every guy should grow out their hair. Now, if you really don't want to grow out your hair, of course you don't have to grow out your hair. I'm not telling you that's going to be the key to your happiness or anything like that. I just think it's something that people overthink sometimes. And just if you do decide to grow out your hair, just try and enjoy the process because I'll tell you now, it is one of those things you shouldn't be counting days or whatever because it'll feel like it never ends. Um, but when you get to a stage where you're starting to enjoy it, it just feels like it was worth it. The other downside is I really don't want to cut it because it's such a commitment to get here in the first place. And I'm still not even that long when it comes to my hair, right? So the day I cut it, mm, will I ever grow it back? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. and. Peace.